So, so guys, hi guys, today we're making these really awesome plushy throw pillows for Valentine's Day and I think they're really cute. So the first thing I need to do is get a silhouette. I chose two but I'm only going to make the simple one right now. I chose a unicorn and a flower. So the first thing I want to do is cut out your unicorn, or flower, or whatever you're doing. <laughs> So, while you're cutting this out, you can get your glue gun ready. I'm using a mini one from Michaels that was five dollars. I like it because it's so cheap. And it takes only a few minutes to get to that, so while you're waiting for that, you can just start cutting out this flower and you're still like and getting everything set up to the pillow. So while you're cutting this out, it's pretty fun. Um, you can do a few different things for the unicorn for your flowers. Think of how long it would have took for me to cut up the unicorn. It would have taken like hours. So here's a few ways you can do it. You can make your silhouette. You can paint around your silhouette on the pillow. So that when you take it off, the white spots of the pillow. Or Or you can, sorry, I just need to fix it because I did it differently than most people would. Or you can use this and paint in this, your little cutout of the flower that used to be in there. So, you can do it either way. I think, Mom, what way should I do it? Should I paint around the flower to get the flower shape? Or should I do paint the flower in? I think I'm going to paint around it. So, you're going to put your silhouette out of the way. Things you'll need to make a pillow. Something to fill your pillow with. I'm using stuffing from an old teddy bear. Um, cloth, fabric, material. I'm using my old school t-shirt. I see. I already kind of wrecked it. Yeah. You're going to cut some fairly large, two fairly large even pieces out of the fabric. It doesn't matter what size, as long as it can fit your silhouette nicely. Because you want room for your silhouette, and you don't want it like as big as a page. So you, but you don't want it too big either, because then, yeah. These are suck for good of fabric. I think it's easier just to just flip it. So... So, so I'm just so mm, just starting to get outside. The scissors really do suck. I'm trying to be nice to them, but they suck. If you're gonna want to use fabric scissors, that would be better. I have them. That's what I was using yesterday to make these pillows. But I don't remember where I put them. So, it kind of sucks. So, once you do that, you'll have this large piece. I'm just going to fold mine over. I find that easier.
So that's what I have. Once you have that, you're gonna want to grab your glue. So you're gonna want to like outline it so you can bend it over. Right in the middle, so you can have the other side. Oh, that's really hot. My glue gun's really hot, so you're going to be very careful, because glue gun burns do suck. You can use a needle and thread. I'm just using a glue gun, because it's convenient, or I find. So once you can pass it on, So I'm just going to plug out my glue gun. It's really hot right now and it needs to cool down a little. I might make this a half a video just to see showing you how to make the pillow and the other one showing you the silhouette. So once you have that shape, I know it's not done yet, you're going to want to stuff it and leave a little hole open. You're going to want to stuff it full. So stuff it in. So you're going to want to fill it as much as you can, the pillow. Like, I like my pillows really, really stuffed and really fluffy. So, and if it rips open a little, then you're going to want to... So while you're gluing this, look how poofy this is. <laughs> so my pillow is pretty poofy. You're gonna just want to fill it until you like how full it is. Like I like mine really, really full. So you're gonna want. Some people like adding a lot, but I'm putting it. Stop here because I don't want my pillow overflowing. You're gonna want to leave extra room to glue it at the top, so. It should look like that with the open spot at the top, and then you're going to glue that. Shit. So. Uh. Okay, so that's my pillow. Right now, I'm not done it. As you can see, it's time to re-glue my glue stick because I'm about to chill. <laughs> it's so much plugging and unplugging. So if you get any glue on the table, you should rip it off really fast, or wait for it to. Well, you should wait a few minutes because it'll be boiling hot. But you get what I mean. So just when you finish gluing that up, I take a really long time to glue mine up. Like so, I'm like taking a really long time. <laughs> so yeah. 
So once you're done, it should look something like this. I know it looks really gross right now because it's homemade. If you want to, you can trim off the edges, but first I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to trim it off. See if my silhouette fits. And my silhouette fits. So you're going to check what side's better for your silhouette. You want to maybe apply it on your silhouette or whatever you like. I'm going to tape mine on very well. So. I'm mean, going to do the heart tree instead because it's really simple. And I might be able to finish it in the time that you guys are here. So you're just going to tape it on. So that's all I can do for this video. If you want to see how to paint it, this little wet in, please watch the second part of my video. Thanks for watching. Comment. Watch the next video. Thank you. Please watch the second part so you know how to do this little one. Thanks. Please comment.